One day when my daughter was two years old, she came to me and told me that her father had touched her inappropriately and her, she was like, my dad I was trying to put her jacket on because we were getting ready to leave to go back to where we were staying at. And she was sleepy, fighting her sleep, and she just blurted it out. You're in this relationship, it's not great, but you're a young guy and you're physically attracted to her. She becomes pregnant. What was your reaction to her getting pregnant? I honestly didn't know what to do. Yeah, it's your and first my, child? Yeah, it was my first child. And my mother also could see that I didn't really know what to do. I got, got her pregnant when I was 17, she was 18. And my mother also played a big role in my life with helping both of us out. And at one point in time, she left. And my mother and me took care of that baby for the first year of her life. I have a little smile on my face, because it's funny, because you, you, Christian, you sound real mature on the stage, but let's be for real. When my daughter was born, Christian, you was getting arrested. You was out here running the street. You wasn't doing The last thing you could do was babysit your child while I was at work. I was at work all the time. You did nothing. I left your house, moved to a family member's house. I was still working, ended up getting my own apartment, whether it was because of foster care or nothing. I don't have a support system. I don't have mommy to fall back on to take care of my kids. Girl, I, I, do, I do not know, but I know one thing. You told I've me, you told you know me what that it was another Serena. family member. This you is know, a granddaughter said I don't, it. I don't want to talk to her. She said it. Shut up! Shut up! Kristen came here, and he took a lie detector test. We asked Kristen, did you at any time touch your four-year-old daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no, and the result for his lie detector test is that Kristen told the truth. And that's great. I'm happy, and I don't want it to be you. I told I you, bro, I will never do no like that to my daughter, bro. That little <laughs> well, girl's my heart, bro. I will protect her with everything that I got. So for you to even accuse me like that, you should have already knew that it would never happen. Never in my life. I can't just No, it happened to you. you. It happened to me. The only control you really do have, though, <laughs> is you're keeping your daughter away from that person, right? Yeah, I don't associate with them, cut them. They all cut me off, tell people not to come around me. I might, like, I don't know the I'm going through. They okay. telling people I might accuse them of And that's just not the case. When okay. she's, no, but when the she other, said okay. it, that's just what it was. But the other issue now is, uh, it's been a while since Kristen sees his daughter. No matter what's gonna happen, he's always gonna be the father, you're her mother. Will you ever get to the place where you guys can be civil with each other and 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 raise your daughter co-parenting in a civil manner. Steve, honestly, that is on him. I, I don't I can't speak for them, it's but also as on far you, as you, Anna. I know I've handled myself. I know I can do it. I've been doing it. A lot of it's been on me, regardless of what y'all want to say. Like, come on now. I know I can co-parent with him, but at the same time, you're not going to disrespect me as the mother of your child. Ain't nobody that's going to die, that got ill feelings towards me is going to be around my but child. But disrespect is a two-way street. You can't disrespect me. And I don't disrespect. Whenever we were cordial, it was okay. I kept it cordial. When I go to her office okay. to bring and the that's house, the point it's cordial. I'm, and that's the point I'm making now. It's Cordial. Moving forward, it could still be cordial, cordial as okay. long as he comes up here and really show me. You feel me? Because like I said, it, it was a bunch of. I'm not against growing and <clears throat> maturing. I'm not against that. I've done a lot of that, regardless of what they did. Kristen, know? tell me what happened uh, after the show. Well, uh, after the show, I got in contact with her mom. I was able to talk to her, and we figured something out to where I could go down there. I was able to see my daughter and spend some time with her. So how was that like? Um, you know, you, you, I'll say this. You come across as very genuine to me. Um, and that had to be a difficult uh, period for you to go through these, to have these type of accusations. You're a very young guy. Um, you know, the yeah. threat of these accusations hanging over your head. But now, not seeing your daughter for two years, you get to see her 
uh, after you appeared on the show. What was that like seeing your daughter after two years? Man, Steve, I can honestly tell you, I, I want to thank you honestly for the opportunity because through you, a blessing came out of this. It was, to me, it was very pleasant. I was able to see her after so long. It was nice just to see her. When I saw her, she just ran straight up to me. She was just saying, daddy, 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 telling me how much she missed me. It was so nice just to be around her, just to see her smile, the way that she just talks to me because she's so grown now. It's like I try to tell you, me and my daughter, we have a deep connection. Like I've, it's always been there. Ever since the first day that she was born, the first day of her life, that connection has been there. And it like, even though some people may have thought the connection may have died down, uh, like honestly, I felt like it's gotten stronger. So um, you really don't have any type of relationship with your daughter's mother? I'm, no, not really. We keep it cordial just so I'm able to see my daughter, you know? So what I'm saying uh, is, do you, so, have, do you do have conversations uh, that you have to have concerning your daughter? Yeah, like I may ask her how she's doing, what she did that day, you know? Right. Anything concerning her. If how often do you get to see your daughter now? I mean, honestly, since I work, it's just around the times that I have the money and the time to go see her, I can. But uh, when right. I'm out there, I try to stay for a because you live, amount you live, of time. You live kind of far from each other. Yeah, I stay in Texas, and they stay in a different state. But, right, you know, so, but I'm I, saying once when you have the money and you have the time off from your job, you're freely able to go see your daughter. Oh, yeah. 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 I made sure I did that as soon as I got back, to right. be honest. But, but I, I'm <laughs> saying they're not, they're not keeping her from you anymore. No, they're yeah. not. Well, that's, a, that, that's really a good thing there. Oh, okay, so after we left the stage and I went back home, I did reach out to Ziana because I could tell that she was a little bit upset. We were all upset. We were all hot. We were all frustrated. Um, and she was kind of upset about everything that perspired on the stage. Uh, we got together. We did take some family Christmas photos. And then Christian came out to visit the following year. And after that, she blocked me on social media. She won't contact me. I have not seen my granddaughter. Oh, so e even though your son is on a cordial relationship, you're totally blocked off. Yes, sir. What do you think would have happened if you didn't come on the show? I think Christian would have been behind bars. I believe that's what she was trying to do. Like, if my granddaughter was molested and she was hurt and she was touched, and the things that happen. Why are you worried about custody and full custody? You should be trying to get down to the bottom of the situation of what happened to her and why it happened and where it happened. But yet you're talking about custody. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, a lot of the feedback, a lot of response from our viewers after that show aired, which just aired recently, by the way, um, was that people were kind of really mad that she wasn't here and that she didn't take a lie detector test about whether right. she fabricated this story because, uh, you know, your son comes across as very credible, very honest, came here and took the test. Uh, and I think people are mad when somebody is denied seeing their child for so long. How do you, how do you feel about that? We're, we're upset. We want her to come back on the show and take the lie detector yeah. test. What do you think the odds are part three of this story is gonna happen? That she's gonna fail the test? How about that? Yeah, I but, believe she's gonna but, fail. But I'm, I'm asking you, what's, you said, what's the, the likely, What's the likelihood of her coming here um, and taking the test? Yeah, I don't uh, think she will. None. I feel yeah. like she won't. Do you put think? It all. I don't think she would come. We here at the show would love for her to come and do that. We would love for her to come. Open invitation to take the slide to the test because fair is fair. It right. should only be fair to you and your son. And to the little girl, right? Because the little girl was denied to it's see her father man. for two years because really false accusations. But I'm really happy for, for you, uh, you know, Kristen, that you're able to be in your daughter's life now, that you're not getting robbed of time anymore. And uh, yeah. at some point, Sabrina, I certainly hope that people rise above their uh, pettiness or whatever they got going on. Because, you know, I always say, my grandmother was such a huge part of my life, and uh, I know you want to be there for your granddaughter, so I, I hope yes, it all I works do. out.
I was raped. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.